the story time. Today I'll be reading to you about elephants. Our first book today is Elmer and the Kangaroo. Can you see what makes Elmer different than other elephants? See if you notice. So our book is by David McKee and it's read courtesy of HarperCollins. So here we go. Elmer the Patchwork Elephant had just started his morning walk when Tiger arrived. Elmer, he said, there's a stranger around. He's acting very strangely. First he jumps, then he falls over. Strangers often act strangely, said Elmer. That's why they're strangers. Well, I don't think he's happy, said Tiger. Just then, Lion appeared. Hello, Elmer. Hello, Tiger, he said. Elmer, there's a strange chap around. He sort of, sort of jumps, said Tiger. Elmer knows. And he kind of, well, he, he falls over, finished Tiger. Elmer knows. Yes, well, he also seems um, unhappy, said Tiger. Elmer knows. Let's just go and see, said Elmer kindly. Soon they came to a clearing. This is where he usually jumps, said Tiger, and falls over, added Lion, and here he comes. A kangaroo jumped into the clearing. Then he stopped, fell over, picked himself up, and sobbed, I'm a failure. Not a happy chappy, said Lion. Let's go talk to him, said Elmer. Hello, said Elmer. What's the matter? Hello, kangaroo sniffed. I can't jump. When I try to, I fall over. There's a jumping contest tomorrow, and I came here to practice secretly. But I can't jump. I'll be laughed at. But you were jumping beautifully, said Tiger. Oh no, I was just bouncing along, getting ready to jump. I'm a good bouncer, said Kangaroo, and to prove it, he bounced higher than Giraffe, who happened to be passing by. Very impressive, said Tiger. But when I think about jumping, I fall over, sighed Kangaroo. This needs some thought, said Elmer. I'll be back tomorrow. On the way home, Lion said, Elmer, I know I'm a bit slow, but isn't a bounce kind of a jump? Yes, Lion, said Elmer, but Kangaroo thinks that a jump is something more difficult, more important. Like sometimes, if you think about going to sleep, you can't. But when you don't think about it, you soon drop off. The next morning, after talking to Lion and Tiger, Elmer went to meet Kangaroo. Come on, Kangaroo, he said. Lion and Tiger will be by the river. Elmer set off at a steady pace, while Kangaroo bounced behind him, in front of him, around him, and even over him. When they got to the river, Lion and Tiger were on the other side, where Elmer had told him to wait. Direct, said Elmer. We'll get our feet wet. Kangaroo laughed. Then, with an enormous bounce, he flew over the river and landed beside Lion and Tiger. Fantastic jump, said Tiger. You mean bounce, said Kangaroo. I can't jump. Lion chuckled, but a bounce is a jump. Lion is right, said Elmer. Forget about jumping. Just bounce. Now let's go to that contest. Kangaroo led the way, delighted that his new friends were going with him. They arrived just as the contest began. After a while, Elmer said, Come on, Kangaroo, it's time you had a go. Just then, there was a roar of applause as a white kangaroo made an enormous jump. That will be hard to beat, said Kangaroo. Elmer went
whispered to lion and tiger, who went to stand just past the spot where the white kangaroo had landed. As kangaroo was getting ready, Elmer said, Jurette, we'll get our feet wet. Kangaroo laughed. Then, with an enormous bounce, he landed once again right beside lion and tiger, and that was the winning jump. Later, Kangaroo thanked Elmer, Lion, and Tiger for their help. You made me remember the river, he said, instead of thinking about jumping. Strange thing, Lion said when they were home. At the contest, we felt like we were, uh, strangers, finished Tiger. Yes, said Elmer, but now we're all, uh, friends. They all laughed together. So that was our story about Elmer, the patchwork elephant. Now, you probably know that Elmer is a very special elephant, and not many elephants are patchwork. So now we're going to read about some other elephants that are not patchwork. Have you ever wanted to be an elephant? This book's title is, I Wish I Was an Elephant, by Jennifer Beauvais. You can see what color they are. They're either brown or gray. What if you wished you were an elephant? Then you became one. Could you eat like an elephant? Talk like an elephant? Live like an elephant family? Or would you want to? Find out. Where would you live? Many elephants live in Africa on grassy plains called savannas. The sun shines for months at a time. It is hot and dry. Elephants move around the savanna. They often walk for many miles to find food and water. Would you like to live someplace that's always hot? What would your family be like? An elephant family is called a herd. It usually has about 20 members. The leader of the herd is a wise and strong mother elephant. Most of the other herd members are female elephants called cows. Young elephants live in the herd too. They are called calves. Adult male elephants, called bulls, live apart from the herd. A mother elephant has one calf around every five years. The whole elephant herd is excited when a calf is born. They gather around the calf to meet the new family member. They use their trunks like hands to gently touch and pet the baby. As an elephant calf grows bigger, the other elephants in the herd help take care of the calf. Sisters and aunts love to babysit. Babysitters play with the calf and protect it from danger. While mom is busy finding food. See how tiny that elephant is? What would you learn to be an elephant? Elephant calves learn from the herd. Older elephants show calves how to greet each other by touching trunks and how to stick together when danger is near. Calves learn that helping others and working together are important parts of herd life. Playing games is another way that elephant calves learn to get along with others. They race, they play tag, and wrestle with friends. When they play, calves use their trunks a lot. They pick up sticks and roll rocks. What games do you play with your friends? How would you talk? Elephants make many sounds. They can trumpet loudly to say, I'm excited. Adults roar to stay, stay away. Elephants also talk by rumbling. Rumbling is a low drumming sound made in an elephant's throat. Rumbles are hard for humans to hear, but elephants can hear rumbles from several miles away. What would you eat? 
Elephants eat leaves and grasses and roots. They like fruit and twigs too. Elephants find food by using their keen sense of smell. They grasp food with their trunk and put it into their mouths. Elephants need a lot of food, so they eat many times each day. What does your favorite food smell like? How would you wash up? Elephants shower with their trunks. They suck water into their trunks and spray themselves. They also spray one another for fun. After washing, elephants roll in mud. It sounds dirty, but the mud dries on their skin and protects them from bugs that bite. How would you like to roll in the mud after a bath? How would growing up change you? Baby elephants get bigger every day. They grow long teeth called tusks. Elephants use them for digging roots and fighting predators like lions. When they are about 13 years old, male elephants leave the herd and females stay with the herd for life. Elephants can live up to 60 years, a long time to grow and learn. They are very intelligent and have good memories. Elephants can remember how to get to water holes hundreds of miles away. Elephants remember friends they met long ago and trumpet happily when they meet them again. Being an elephant could be cool for a while, but do you want to live in a hot, dry place? Talk with rumbles? Pick up things with your nose? Luckily, you don't have to. You are not an elephant. You're you. So if you want to learn more about elephants or just read some stories about elephants, be sure to stop at the library. We are open for browsing right now. We also have some cool packets that have elephant crafts in them, so when you're at the library, be sure to pick one up. So bye for now. Take care. Be safe.